if people happy, it's different than getting pay and getting tips. Mm. When you see your client is so happy with you, and some people even crying, me, uh, mm, leaving, really, <laughs> leaving you, yes, uh, and everybody wish to see you again. Yes, sir. That's great. Great feeling. Sir. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do uh, the interview outside because it's a bit rainy. Um, so my uh, first question is that um, because you have been, you know, in the you know tour, you know, industry tour sector for a very long time, sir, maybe four decades now, nearly four decades <laughs> since 1980, sir, as I was yeah. informed. Um, I am interested, you know, in your journey, you know, of becoming uh, until now. Um, firstly, sir, like a uh, how many countries have you visited, sir? Because it seems to be a lot, sir. Wow. Uh, I was guiding almost all over Indonesia. Mm. And I think I've been everywhere in Indonesia. Sure. And then Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, uh, India, Kashmir, mm. and China. China, sir. Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, Japan, South Korea. I was uh, some time ago, and I was in Europe for about eight years, mm -hmm. yes, and as a tour uh, leader, and then I was in South Africa, uh, South America. I've been to Namibia, Namibia, yeah, in, in Nigeria, Africa, so. Cape Town in Africa, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, I'm lucky actually because I've been moving around a lot, and besides being a tour leader, I was also working for some TV uh, uh, company. So, yes, sir. Yeah. But, uh, sir, like, uh, how, how did you begin, like, your journey, you know, across so many borders, sir? I mean, like, uh, I mean, let's say, you know, isn't, like, uh, Indonesia competitive enough, sir? Like, you, you, go, you go abroad so, to so many countries, sir? Uh, you know, actually, I, you know, I do a lot of things to different things. Mm. For example, like for the beginning, I went to Europe. It's because I'm doing Indonesian martial art. Indonesian, Indonesian martial, martial art. martial art. It's called pencak silat. Oh. So I was invited to some uh, country to do the performance. And on the other hand, I was uh, working as a translator for mm. uh, Mentawai language in Indonesia, or yeah, Indonesia to English most of, mostly, and with some uh, TV. And then when I was in Europe. Then people need somebody as a tour leader name, tour, tour guide in the background. So then mm. I try to do that work at the beginning in Holland. Yes, then sir. finally I can continue and you know, move to one country to another country and like that. But yeah. sir, like, uh, you know, when you go from one country to another country and then, you know, normally as a tour guide, you need to have, you know, a lot of information, you know, accommodation, travel, people, hotel. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you manage to learn each one? So like, it's very hard for even though for one country, sir. I actually love a story for many country, you know, and me myself, my parent also uh, was in Holland for a while. Oh. That's the reason why I become a tour guide. Actually, I don't really know if I like to be a tour guide in the beginning, but because in my place in Bukit Tinggi, and nobody speak Dutch at that time, so mm. they used me as a, a Dutch speaking guy. So you also speak Dutch? And so? On the beginning, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first language was Dutch. Oh. And then I learned uh, German and English. I didn't really learn English actually, but, but by yeah, meeting to, a lot of people, work, yeah, and yeah. I, I speak English, and I speak a bit of uh, French and Spanish, of course. So basically, when you do your tour guide, um, you bring Indonesian. To other countries, sir. In Europe, yes. In Europe, oh. I bring Indonesian or Malaysian. 
and also uh, and you some Australian. You bring like also you bring foreigners back to Indonesia, sir. Uh, so. Yes, I don't bring them, but I become a tour guide <laughs> in my country yes, with a uh, European or American. I've been working for some company. Can I say the name of the company? No problem, sir. Yeah. Okay, there is a company called Explore. Yes, sir. This is a UK company, and I've been working with them for a while, for quite a while actually, and love it all over mm-hmm. Indonesia. It's begin like north of Sumatra and finish in Bali. So, and I've been working for uh, another travel agent for quite long. It's called Elder Trek from Toronto. And I've been working from north of Medan to uh, middle Jaffa, Jaffa to Bali, or Jaffa to uh, Raja Empat in Papua. Mm, so, I've been yes, working sir. there. I've been also working in Malaysia with them. And yes. So basically, your work is not just you know with one firm alone, but you know with you know a wave of things that you do along the way. So yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. And you know, uh, like Jogja, we are different, mm-hmm. right? Because yes, Indonesia, we have a lot of language, right? And I've been in Jogja also for a while. I've been studying art over there, even I'm not Finnish, because I've been you know. So as soon as you start getting money from being a tour guide. Then you forget to continue your study. Yes, sir. And I was uh, studying then fine art, and then I'm doing guiding, and then I lost my university. <laughs> But luckily, and at the end of my career, actually, like in the last 10 years, I've been studying a lot also about tourism and everything. Mm. And then I study my uh, first master was uh, in Jakarta, Trisakti, the name of the university. Yes, sir. And then. Uh, since COVID, I become a lecturer. Mm, you, oh, also a lecturer, sir. No, I'm a yeah. lecturer. In, in, in tourism, the, sir. No, in one of the university in West Matra. Oh, It's yes, called yes, yes. uh, Muhammadiyah University. Yes, sir. But I teach uh, tourism. Yes, sir. Tourism. But sir, like a you know a common you know curiosity by many people, let's say, you know when you are tour guide, you often like go to the same place. Yes. But the tourists, they only go there once, and then maybe 10 yes. years later, they can go there again. But you know, when you go to the same place again and again, you know, and then you you know stay in the car, do you feel you know tired at any point? You know, you don't want to say that again, or is it the career? So you must do it, or what? Sir? Like like this. Actually, I've been working for many different company. I've been yes, working sir. for a travel agent. I've been working for uh, like airline. You know, I've been working on a mm. cruise ship. Cruise ship one, also. one trip, <laughs> okay, yeah. and I've been working for a hotel. I've been also become a driver, you know. So I, I've been, I did many uh, things, and uh, but you know, I think I love being a tour guide because I like moving, mm. moving, meet a lot of people, and I got a lot of uh, friends, you know, everywhere in the world. So, for example, like when I go uh, Malaysia, for example, yes, sir. Almost every restaurant, every hotel I knew. And then I go to Java, and everyone say, hey, "Eddie, <coughs> how are you?" <laughs> and then uh, as a tour guide, I don't know if anybody being tired being a tour guide because every day you meet new people, you are always uh, talking positive about anything, mm. and then you you keep learning, you keep uh, you know, uh, you always being like you build positive thing to somebody else. Yes, sir. You tell people a story, and you make people happy, and you know. Uh, I think my job as a tour guide or as a tour leader was a great job. I think because uh, it's always nice to see people happy on the end of the tour. You know, tour guide or tour leader, you are you get paid, right? Yeah, yes, sir. And you get tips, and then if people happy, it's different than getting paid and getting tips. When you see your client is so happy with you, and some people even crying, me, uh, mm, leaving, really, sir. Li- leaving you, <laughs> yes, uh, and everybody wish to see you again. Yes, sir. That's great, great feeling. So I don't think I'm gonna be tired. But it's like the physical strength, sir. Like, do you feel tired? Like the you know you because the car, the plane, the ship, those are very energy mm. intensive, sir. Let's say. Actually, no. No. It's only sometimes you feel like you miss your children. Oh, okay. that's the reason why I don't do uh, this job again uh, abroad. You know, like in Europe or in, in Latin America, and I decided to uh, be a guide at home in in Indonesia because I'm close to my children. I see, you know? sir. Yeah, and 
Two is too much. One one child in Malaysia, one child in Java. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me there. Yes, sir. You know, many countries so far. Like, can you give like a rough estimation, like how many individual you know tourists that you have guided? Around the world, Ooh, that's maybe difficult. half a million or something. No. <laughs> I tell you, uh, for example, like trip. Let's say trip in Indonesia first. Yes, sir. Most trip, uh, let's say four day three night, right? Let's say four day three night, yes, one sir. trip yes, in sir. Western Sumatra. I can be book in one month. Can be on the tour like thirty six days. One month is 30 days, right? Yes, sir. But I can do the tour like 36 because they booked me like first uh, of January and yes, tour sir. end on the fourth. But on the fourth, I continue with another tour in the same days. Oh, so you on overlap, sir? You so, overlap, yeah. Oh, many times like that. That's mm-hmm. for a small tour. But for a long um, trip, for example, like 20 days tour, and all month I'm going to be on the tour. Because 20 days and continue another 20 days to another area like uh, Jogja, Bali, Lombok, Labuan Bajo, you know, Komodo. Yes, and that's what I do. That's 21 days and 42 days altogether. And then, I don't, I, so far I am not feeling like bored or tiring or something like that. Yes, sir. And of course you meet also some uh, people which is uh, difficult mm-hmm. people, you know, it's normal, but I'm lucky that I'm experienced with this, and I can handle, I can handle uh, this kind of issue. Yes, sir. Like, but you know, normally, like, uh, how how big is you know a single tour that you can handle at 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 any time, sir? Let's say at a given time, sir. Like this, if you become a tour guide, yes, sir. actually one bus, one bus like forty five until forty seven oh. people in one bus. That's the biggest. Mm. But if you uh, a tour leader. Could be uh, three bus <laughs> at a time, but you will have your assistance. Yeah. You will be, uh, you, you, there will be another tour guide with you, you know. Mm, I see. So, yeah. and then uh, sometimes you become like a really tour leader for like even, mm. and for example, like a kind of big meeting, and after a meeting, one day this will be touring, right? That's yes, what sir. you arrange also. So uh, I used to arrange also uh, kind of meeting and and tour. Yes, sir. But at the same time, uh, because you've been, you know, in the field for a very long time, do you think, you know, there is like, a, you know, some specific characteristics that a human, you know, should have, mm-hmm. you know, in order to become a good tour guide, like maybe good speaking, you know, maybe the guy or the woman have to be able to learn many languages. Is there anything, you know, specific okay. to become the tour guide? That's a good question, actually, because this is should be every tour leader, every tour guide should know this one. The most important, if you become a tour guide, actually there are three things. Yes, sir. First, uh, you have to make sure that your group is happy. Your, your group is happy. Your tour group, tour member should be happy. How to make them happy, sir? Let's say because you know people. You will know what the need is. Uh, the most important mm. is you you have to know what people need, why people are traveling, you know why people want to see this and that, and why they choose this area to travel. So you have to know that one, and you have to to you, to make sure that they get what they mean, right? Second, you have to make a travel agent happy. The travel agent will give you a word. Happy. Oh, so so a tour guide yeah. works for. Sorry, a bit yeah. uh, confusing. So the tour guide works for the travel agent. Yeah. And then yeah, to the to the tourist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because even I'm freelance, but I work with uh, other companies, mm, right? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. And then third, uh, you have to make yourself happy too. You know, you cannot make, you, you make tourists happy, agent happy, but you are not happy, that's not good. So you get to be happy too in your tour. What do you mean by making yourself happy, sir, let's say? Because like, it, in general, you know, when you sacrifice for someone else, mm. then, you know, more or less, you feel okay. less happy for yourself, you know. <laughs> that's yeah. what you're allowed to do. Because you're gonna be last long in this kind of job, mm. you got to be happy also. Okay, what made uh, tourists happy? Yes, sir. You give whatever the things, what, what, especially what the, uh, what the buyer they should get it right. They buy this tour, and I'm getting this, I'm getting that, I'm getting this. Okay, and then they will be happy. 
well, how to make travel agent happy, make sure the client happy, and then everything goes on the trail, and they are happy. And how you make yourself happy? First, normally, when the group is happy, travel agent happy, you will be happy. Doesn't mean like you have to waste your. Well, some people, you no, know, this is very Asian people. Asian people sometimes they will say like, oh, okay, I miss something. It's okay as as long mm. as they're happy. Not like that. Everything should be arranged uh, good. Everything should be, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, you really have to arrange them well, you know, and yes, sir. and it has to follow like what is the real deal. You don't need to sacrifice yourself like. Okay, you know, then the client say, uh, "11 o'clock at night, let's go to a party because oh, so the you, can you, can issue, you have okay, to, yeah. you have to be honest to them. You have to tell them the truth. That's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Six o'clock or eight o'clock after dinner, the client will go to uh, their bed, and if there any issue about they are going for a party, they have to let us know, and mm -hmm. we don't need to go with them. I we see, sir. So it has to be a very pro professional of uh, handling this. You know. So by 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 saying that make yourself happy just means that you know take care of your yes. your health yes. basically, sir. Yeah, you you must have mm. a good uh, enough sleep and you make sure you have a place to sleep. You know because I know some tour somewhere before and a client sleep in the hotel mm. and and then the driver sleep in the bus. You know that's that's not that's not, that's not correct the, or yeah, yeah. even a tour guide have. To sleep on the, uh, you know, sometimes big bus have a big box on the back, right? Yeah, Underneath. but not comfortable. Some guy, yeah. they sleep there because of okay, maybe the agent don't have money to pay for the room. No, that's not that's not correct. That's correct. So, to make sure you are getting paid well, of course, you have to prove yourself you are good, mm. and people will pay you. I mean, you know. Yes, sir. But at the same time, for example, you know. Especially in big group, mm -hmm. you know, um, people will have you know different you know love toward what they want to see. For example, some people like nature, yeah. some people like shopping, yeah. some people like you know, let's say history. Like mm -hmm. me, I, I prefer more into history. Mm -hmm. I want to learn more. So basically, like, how do you manage you know the different you know interests of you know different group, and how um, how do you know that so? Actually, it's not that difficult you know, because when when the tour are booked, when you are booked by the travel agents, and they will tell you, okay, three days, two night, uh, booking mm -hmm. you tour. Okay, sir. And there, the itinerary is tell already. Itinerary say like, okay, first day from the airport, this, 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 and second day is like this, mm -hmm. third day like this. Sometimes you need to know what is people job. Mm -hmm. Just know like, oh, what kind of tourism I'm taking. Uh, for example, like oh, everyone is a teacher, so your story should go more like you teach the teacher. So, so you know? do you design the trip, or the, the trip agency design the trip? Actually, sir? travel agent design the trip, mm. but you create something to make the trip is suitable with the client. You know, because mm, yes, it's yes. happened some client. They they just buy it. Okay, four days. Okay, twenty days tour. And then you know, but but they experience you know? it. They don't experience it to the fullest. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, experience will tell also. Mm. You know, people. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like uh, uh, some tourists is very love, right? Yeah. Sometimes. And you need to be loud too. Some really? tourists are uh, very quiet, and sometimes you act like you're quiet too. <laughs> so, mm. And then, but at least you know what they really love to do and. And how you manage it, and sometimes, of course, you give chance to them to ask a question. Mm, yeah. You got to hear also what they say. It's not only you who need to be here, but they you got to hear them too. And then you got to make sure what they were, what is their dream about that tour. Mm. Some people they dream, oh my gosh, I really want to see a clock tower, you know. And then suddenly you said, "Oh, because of raining, we cannot stop." Can you imagine? So far inside, they will say, yeah. "Oh my gosh, I wish to see the one from far away from Cambodia. I don't to see the clock tower. You know, I can't see because of rain." Can you imagine that? So you build the trust to them that make sure to see the what mm. their dream is. You know. So you have to like a uh, challenge a bit, sir, to to yeah. do that. Yeah. You 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 really get to know the one. When they, you got you get to know what they really love to. 
and then or maybe they're just out of the tour that's a different thing different case you got to be honest with them because tour is only like this and like that and then if you want to do that i will have to contact the, the travel agent because mm. it might cost you something else you know yes sir uh, continue uh, to another question let's say like do you you know of course working a lot do you notice any let's say you know uh idea or maybe you know habit correct me if i'm wrong maybe like westerners they prefer like you know the raw the local experience and you know asian yeah. they also want the local way but you know they they also want like the the modern way to sleep to eat is mm. there any distinction that you know you you, you saw between western and eastern people? Uh, But, yeah. Everybody different because, mm. for example, like uh, what I think European, you European normally they they don't like shopping so much. <laughs> you know, maybe they will do a shopping, yeah. but only some basic sort of place. You yeah, know, basic so. necessities. Yeah. yeah. And then another thing that's a uh, European usually they love to watch like a rice field. Mm. They love to watch something which is tradition. They love to watch all the cultural things. You know. And of course, they love to hear the story about that behind everything they see. Mm. So, uh, uh, if you take like younger generation, which is from Asia, Asia normally uh, less walk sometimes, <laughs> less walk. <laughs> less except walk. if they are actually love to climb yeah, up the yeah, mountain, like you know, enthusiasts, yeah. like enthusiasts in yeah. something. Yeah. And normally for the youngers, they more like happy and sing a mm. song and jump to the ocean. And that's more like aggressive things, you know. So, and then uh, that's how it is. So when you take like American, and then you must know what time they eat, mm. when they eat first. If they eat uh, fruit first, then there should be a fruit there. You know? And then if you take a Spanish, for example, Spanish people, they eat their breakfast like uh, 10 in the morning. You know? And then they always eat late morning. They only coffee and then eat late. You take a Japanese. They're always having dinner for a long time. What I mean is, uh, let's say they start at seven dinner, and mm. dinner could be finished in three hours. Is that talking and laughing and some sake and so on? So this is every uh, every country. Sometimes there is some different. And then when you take Dutch people, and Dutch people like normally Dutch people when they're traveling to Indonesia, mm. they love to hear the story you tell them. Yes, sir. And they want to know everything actually. And then. Uh, I don't know any country that I don't like. You know, most of the time I, like, I just like it. And I, I so far in my career, I mean, I never have like a big, big problem with a client. Never. Mm. And maybe I'm lucky. Uh, maybe yeah. Sometimes I meet somebody who's really tough, and you know, so sometimes he don't just say in polite way to you, but you know, on the end, they're nice. You know, yes, on the end, just nice. Yes, sir. And uh, another question: uh, You know, do, during COVID 19 of course, not Cambodian, not yeah. not only you know, but around the world, I guess. You know, the tour industry f- experienced hardship, sir. Mm-hmm. So, how did you feel? Feel? How did you feel that, sir? Uh, basically, you know, I have a good life actually. I I'm very lucky with my life. 2019, I was in China. Yes, in China. March, I was in China, and then when I arrived in in Taiwan, actually people already started to check my the the temperature you know, temperature. Yeah, I don't know what it is, you know. So okay, I'm fine. And then I arrived in Hong Kong, the same, and arrived in Malaysia, and come back. Yeah, on the end of 2019, which is November. They declare and emergency. I was in Taiwan in Hong Kong. Oh, you know? okay, okay. And then everyone checked, and they really okay. And you got to be. I don't. We don't. We don't understand. I was with the group. They didn't know what happened. You know. And, but I hear the issue already about uh, some kind of virus in China and so on. And then okay, I'm safe home. Okay, Indonesia. January, I went to Malaysia. Mm, and yes, with the tour, but I was extending Malaysia because I have to bring my daughter to uh, kind of university in Malaysia. And I remember I should fly on the twentieth, twenty of January, right? Yes, 
and then I hear from the news that uh, a flight will stop on the 20 and that's what I do I fly on the 19 you know and then I found out it's about COVID-19 mm. you know what a few years before this COVID from uh, 2014 after I get back from South America yes sir and actually many uh, university university or government people invite me to be a speaker mm. uh, in many uh, kind of uh, anything about tourism and then one of the university tell me like hey what about teaching our place just like a, a lecture not not a real lecture but mm -hmm. they invite me to teach maybe I only teach like twice uh, this six months you know but, but during that time there were no there were no tourists for you to to bring them there is but as long oh. as I have a time they invite me to university oh, okay I, I teach some university in Jakarta, in Jogja, or even in Bali. Yes, sir. And then, especially in West Sumatra, they often because I'm here, you know, often I go there because tourists is getting less. Mm. On the end of nine, uh, 2019, yeah. the tourists is getting less because the flight ticket was uh, too expensive. So, mm. tourists is getting less. The only choice for me, I should fly to Canada or I fly to Europe. But my family uh, don't allow me to to guide anymore in outside, you know? Yes, sir. And then, uh, uh, 2019, actually I'm registered as a lecturer in one of the universities, it's called Muhammadiyah University. Yes, sir. In the tourism uh, faculty. And then, but I was not that serious teaching, you know? And 2020, when COVID-19 is booming, <laughs> Boom, yeah. then I teach. Mm. So, so it, it, I'm not worried about missing the job because <laughs> I get a new job. Yes, sir. And then half a year was teaching like, uh, you know, uh, life teaching. Yes, sir. And then middle of the uh, 20s, 20s, and we have to teach like Zoom, you know, so online teach. And I even got a kind of tour, for example, like uh, by video, you know. So. <laughs> I went up to the clock tower with my phone and yes, somebody watching somewhere else. Mm. Like... Tour online, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one only and go everywhere. <laughs> People are watching. It's happened to me. But for free or maybe you... you they no, I, I get paid actually. Oh, I get oh paid wow, wow. Okay. From one of the company in, mm. uh, in Jakarta. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah. okay, uh, Eddie, you go up to the clock tower go to the Japanese tunnel and talk about that and we pay you and wow like so a virtual a virtual tour mm, and okay, yeah. I get that kind <laughs> of joke too you know so and then okay uh, on the end after those online 2021 still online half year but yes, we sir. start to uh, the Indonesian already start to manage how to make less uh, student uh, in the university so we, what we do is half half, yes, sir. half teaching and half is free. And then we start teaching. And I'm getting uh, serious there and mm -hmm. we become a lecture. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you may add something, sir? No, okay. No, yeah. yeah. So, sir, but, but, you know, at the same time, you know, in, in, in chaos, in chaotic time like this, you know, private company, they also have their own, you know, backup plan. Mm -hmm. Government, the same thing. But, you know, strictly for tour guide, you know, who depend, let's say, on tourism, mm -hmm. If there is another pandemic like this happen, is there anything that they can prepare us for them to, to minimize risk? Like this, if you're a tour guide, you got to be really good. You mm. get to plan something for your... Because you are getting old sometimes, you know? You get to plan something. Maybe you are teaching, maybe you are... Whatever it is, you know, you can teach uh, English maybe, you can teach other languages. So don't rely yeah. only on yeah, one don't job. Don't rely so on that yeah. job because Tourism is just like a boxer with a weak chin, you know. One punch, whew, tourism can be down. But it's so quick, they can also come back, you know. So that's, that's how uh, the tourism is. Tourism, political issue can stop the tourists. Mm. Uh, anything, anything. Very and fragile. Earthquake, yeah, very fragile. And that's why uh, to a guide or to a leader, you get to be really... Uh, uh, have a good plan for yourself you know, and your family and I think you cannot rely only on this job but as soon as long as you have a job 
make sure you accept some as a summary behind you know otherwise uh, don't be too happy with what you do today if you don't accept something you know and mm -hmm. too much party and you know, that's not good for you so to a, to a guy they got to upgrade themselves all the time and because you will become something yes sir so last question of course uh, you were saying that be happy uh, make yourself happy it means that you know make yourself you know comfortable in terms of mm -hmm. your health so do you plan to do this job like you know until you are you know like okay. a long way to go <laughs> or something like that <laughs> i think uh, i still want to do this but not as much as usually mm. uh, i remember 2015 i tell you to be honest 2015 i only stopped two days in that year oh my god no. two days off on 2015 I remember that one yes sir one day I was arrived in Jogja and waiting for another client and I just like Phew. you fainted yeah. because oh. so tired you know? oh, <laughs> because we don't yeah. play all the time and then suddenly there was a group arrived in Jogja and I fly from Thailand to Jogja <clears throat> I was waiting for the group as a leader and I was like and people take me to the hospital mm. and that made me break two days And thanks coming days and continue with the group. And what I mean, just a tour guide, you got to have a good physique, you know. Yes, sir. And uh, don't think about what you're going to eat and think about what you're going to drink. Think about your time, maximize your resting time, you know. So that's uh, that's very important. And then uh, for the future, I still do this, but not as much as uh, before. Yes, sir. Uh, sometimes you miss it. You know, I love talking with uh, people, and that's the problem. I love traveling. I love to eat in a restaurant. Like, you know, you are two again. You always eat in a good restaurant, and you are sleep mm. in a good hotel. Yeah, yeah. And but of course not all the time because I got to think about being lecturer. I got to think about the student and uh, mm, the, the family. Yeah, I want to be a good lecturer too. <laughs> I want to be like you know. I want to be minimal. I want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Minimal. If I can be a professor, why not? <laughs> I still have time. So I'm now like 54 years old, right? I'm 54. So at least I think I'm gonna be still strong until 70. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. after 70, I should be a professor. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and then yes, it would be nice, like uh, if I'm a professor, and I think I'm gonna be the first professor in Indonesia or as a tour guide, <laughs> as a real tour guide. Yes, sir. And then uh, it would be nice, like somebody from other country call you as a lecturer, like flying lecture or something like that. So, you know, that's a dream. So, I want to see West Sumatra big. Mm. I want to see a, a, a tourism in Sumatra should grow faster because we have everything. We have a good uh, rice terrace, just like Bali, yes, sir. just like Vietnam. We have a good lake. A beautiful lake. We have a clean air. We we have almost everything. The problem we didn't have uh, good hospitality. I guess mm. this is what we got to develop. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got to make uh, a lot of people who can do a best service and who can speak great English or other language and people who can give a, a very good information. And people who can serve something in the best way, you know that. And I think in future, West Sumatra can be something very special. Mm -hmm. But yes. we need to manage this one in a professional way, and together, you know what I mean. Together, cannot go only uh, you know, government go alone, mm -hmm. and stakeholder also go alone, you know, <laughs> and then. That's difficult. There yes, should be. There should be a together. contingency. Yeah, yeah everyone contingent. should be uh, together and build this, arrange everything well, and even hotel and everything. You know, restaurant. I think you know that we need more good restaurant. Or yeah, yeah. That's just what what we don't have that good for the moment. We have only in the town, but there should be in every place. Yes, there sir. should be a restaurant which is uh, good for everyone. Yes, you sir. Know? Okay, sir. So thank you, Mr. Eddie, for your interview, sir. And uh, it is my pleasure also to be part of your trip in uh, West Sumatra for five days, sir. 
it was a fun, wonderful trip, of course, led by you, and also uh, a wonderful province uh, in 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 Indonesia, sir. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. So uh, hopefully, yeah. this grow better and better. And I hope uh, next time there are people from West Sumatra or Minangkabau don't need to go and look for a job to Malaysia or to Jakarta mm-hmm. or to Bali. You know? They can work here, they can live here. They can this this tourism here should be grow better than this. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, people are nice here. You know? People is not aggressive at all, and everything's so quiet. You can walk at night till twelve in the evening, mm-hmm. <laughs> and without nobody disturb you. So. Yes, sir. This is a great chance, you know, to they should plan something better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir.